Christina, and I'm here on behalf of the energy team. This summer, we worked with the nonprofit Pecan Street in Austin, Texas, and with residents of Oak Park here near Chicago. And it was our goal to extract meaningful information from smart meter data and return that information to consumers, and in particular, local consumers. Smart meters are two-way communication devices. They take energy readings from homes and send those readings to utilities companies. For those companies, these smart meters are really obvious cost-saving choices because they no longer have to send employees to physically read the meters. They're also really exciting for consumers and for data scientists because they unleash a ton of data. So instead of a single bill at the end of the month, you can see your usage over time, like in this graph. And we wanted to take this one step further and tell people at any point in time what appliances are on in their home and how much energy those appliances are using. So this summer, we focus on air conditioning. So that's a thermometer because temperature changes. And that's what we were working on. And we chose air conditioning because it is one of the most energy greedy appliances in your home. It's responsible for around 20% of residential electricity consumption. We created a website, which is live right now, and we would love to show you. We're right over there, and we can show you everything on our website. So this is one of the things we did on the website. We predict what percentage of your total energy bill goes to air conditioning. So for this person, it's 55%. And you can see that over time also, the gray is total energy use, and the blue is your predicted heating and cooling consumption. And we make that prediction with a model that is based on the relationship between temperature and energy consumption. So the next step is, what does 55% mean? Is that a good or a bad number? And so we worked on some metrics, which are on our website, for uh, consumers to be able to evaluate their consumption. This is one of them. Uh, the red days are your most energy consumptive in intensive days and the green are the least. So you can get a sense of your own behavior. You can see for this person, they have some weird days, mainly in the summer where they're using a lot. And if this was your data, you could ask yourself, why was I using so much more energy on those days? And then you could take a next step and say, how can I reduce my consumption? And if you want to do that, we offer recommendations online for um, to lead that process. Another thing we did was social comparison. So the gray line is an individual consumer in Oak Park, and the blue is the average user in Oak Park. So you can see how you compare it to people around you. And again, if you want to take steps to, if you're abnormal, reduce that number, we'll give you recommendations online on how to do that. So going forward, we want to continue working on this um, challenge of decomposition. So we have the total energy graph, and we want to turn that into individual appliances. And this was a huge problem. We were able to tackle a little bit of it this summer, and in the future, we want to continue to build on that. Our website is smartenergyactions.org. If you have a smart meter, you can upload your data right now, and you can start to see results. And if you don't, you could come visit us, and we'll show you uh, some of the results that we have.